Hello, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Hexaco. The stream tonight is about Hex primarily, but as you can see, whenever I talk about Hex, we get a lot less viewers. You guys notice that? Crypto Compassion, good to see everyone. Thanks, Randy. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, you got here early tonight. <laughs> Bobby Axelrod. Hey, crew. Hi, Clint Trones. Oh, I don't need these. Hello, Sarah. Randy, reporting for class. Thank you for the emails. They are really great information. You are welcome. Hey, Doug. Hello, Mom. Hit the likes on the way in, everyone. We have the best community ever. Yes, we do. Ox Colette. Good evening. Defiant Defy, what's going on, chat and Randy? <laughs> wow, I got some good news for you guys. Crypto Ewok, evening, Randy. Peppy, good evening. Okay, Randy, solid 42 Celsius today and Hex go down under. Holy crap. Man. There's only every time I felt that kind of temperature is when I was in Italy, whether it was back in the 90s when I lived there in Sicily or when I was there this last summer, and it was the most I saw was 41. That was terrible. Hey mom, X is king. Otto Matorka. <laughs> Hello. Hey Rod. Pulse chain. Let's go, Randy Corey Tate. Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. Antonio, beat swag, what's the news? Well, I'll get there in a second. <laughs> okay, Randy, I have to get a Randy desktop folder. Good info. <laughs> Last people because a few streams going on tonight. Ah, Doug, okay. Well, can you talk about Tower Bank a little bit? Pros and cons? For sure. Hey, Randy, let's go expire. I mean, Tower Bank should be, you know, paying me to be talking about them, guys. Icosa gurus on the edge of their seat to these days. <laughs> We're about to get a big payout, so looking good for Icosa. You know, the price is probably going to dump again, but then it's going to creep back up. Jim Rat, good to see you, sir. T-Bird, Hex 10 cent by end of the month. Woo, that will be beautiful. Tom Z, what's up? All right. So we got 60 or 78 viewers now. All right, so let's get into it. So today Chico is here. Um, Chico's, he arrived yesterday. And the first thing we accomplished today is we went to Tower Bank. And we wanted to see if a non-resident could easily open a bank account at Tower Bank. 30 minutes later, Senor Chico has a bank account. And now he can offboard his crypto at 2%. All he needed was his passport. That's pretty damn cool. So it was funny because we met one of our friends, one of our Dutch friends there. She came too, and she opened a big account at the same time. So uh, we're the only ones in the bank. It's uh, Tower Bank is one of the uh, bigger banks in Panama, but they're not a retail bank too much. It's mostly commercial stuff. So you don't see a lot of people in there transacting and there's not a lot of branches. So uh, they, we had to go, instead of the big tower that's Tower Bank's famous for, we had to go to uh, to over by the airport, the, other, the newer city called uh, Costa del Este. So we had to go to that branch and they took us all upstairs and my uh, we sat on the couches while those guys did their stuff. And it, it took about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, worked out great. And they both walked out with their new debit cards. And uh, now they can sell. What they do is they accept USDC and USDT on the Ethereum blockchain. So it's just how simple it is. So you contact them on WhatsApp. And um, Anna could help folks with this. So you write to them and you say, hey, I'd like to sell $5,000 worth of uh, USDC or USDT. So they take that. They send you a, an address, an Ethereum address to send the USDC or USDT to. 
and um, you send them the transaction ID and the ether scan and in an hour or so the money's in your bank in your bank account now you can wire it anywhere you want or just leave it there uh, for Americans just know that the fat law is still I, mean, I don't even know it I don't even know what the FATCA law is. I can't remember what the, the acronym stands for. FATCA law. FATCA requires foreign financial institutions to report to the IRS information about financial accounts held by U.S. taxpayers or by foreign entities in which U.S. taxpayers hold a substantial ownership interest. So that's what the FATCA law is. Um, that happened right after... Uh, 2011, I think that's when the FATCA law came into effect. And initially that killed small business uh, like lawyers and stuff here in Panama uh, because uh, Americans stopped coming. Because one of the reasons why Americans love Panama is that they can come down here and open up bank accounts and things. Well, you can still do it. Just know that you have a $10,000 limit. So the idea is when you open up the bank account, you never transact money back to... Um, certain countries. <laughs> yeah, where are you guys at? I'll add to my stakes if it dumps. Psychosa. Yeah, of course. Rock and Randy. Hi from Alberta, Alberta Canada. Stan. Go Hex. Nice. GRC's here. Ramon. G GRC, go buy Zen. Seems legit. <laughs> Pete, leave him alone, Pete. Leave him alone. It's okay. I don't buy Zen. I just mint it. Hello, Pulse Grandpa. H have you heard about the ERC-20 R token standards? It could enable reversible transactions on Ethereum. Oof. But why? Why do we need reversible transactions? Why? <laughs> oh, that just opens up a can of worms, man. That, then it just turns into PayPal, right? <laughs> Guys, thanks, Pete. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> kind of trolling each other. It would be awesome if you, if you did a health video. Wealth means nothing if you don't have good health. Yeah. I was thinking about it tonight, but that's a lot of information I have to collate in order to get prepared. And I think Dr. H, the chiropractor, he's going to help me with this one too. I will probably do a video together and go through everything. For the compassion, that's right. Yeah, there's a freaking car alarm going off. Hey, bright light. Was I on the tangent stream? No. Tangent doesn't like me for because I, I called him out. It was during the um, when everyone was at each other's throats. And he was saying, you're only a true hot chicken if you do this. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Hexkins? He's, he's the must be the only uh, Australian guy I don't get along with. <laughs> Will Orox come to Firefox? I'm not sure. Slardy Bartfest. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm sure. I mean, if there's enough interest. Ugh, sorry, I'm really tired, guys. I, I was up really late last night, and uh, we got up really early this morning to handle all this stuff, so I'm a little bit uh, wiped out. Yeah, yeah. Alex, Welcome. Jason Cassio, what's up, Randy and crew? Got my Orox wallet set up today. Welcome, Jason. If you need any help, let me know. Thoughts on Visa and article regarding Visa eyes high value USD settlement payments on Ethereum. That is pretty damn cool, Bob. I'll take that. That's a win, I guess. Um, it's kind of like what, Pan what Panama is doing right now. Panama is in the midst of making crypto usable in all settlements. So if you want to buy a house, you'll be able to buy it with Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever blockchain is approved. Um, that is right now being voted on. 
And once it's passed, it'll go to the president again. Now, this happened initially when I was in the UK last year. And uh, we, were, we were there in May. So it was right towards the end of May. Uh, there was a law that, that got to the president's desk, but he kicked it back saying it needed more work. Uh, so they've been working on it this whole time. And now this time they're looking to get it passed. Uh, it looks like my internet's a little bit unstable, guys. So sorry if I uh, pixel up or something. But um, once that happens, it'll be law. Uh, look, Panama's in a position that's kind of embarrassing for them. We are the, the Switzerland of Central America and South America. Excuse me. This is the, the banking capital. Uh, so we have banks in every corner. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So El Salvador, what El Salvador did is what Bitcoin should have done. We've been saying it for years. We had friends that were lobbying the government. I mean, going back to 20, 2017, I think, asking the government, hey, look, you know, we're the crypto capital for this whole region. Could I mean, the crypto capital, but the financial capital for this region. It would behoove Panama to make the first move into crypto. And there was a lot of people that were doing great jobs. And we even had a couple conferences. And it just didn't work out. And then El Salvador, it took, the, it took a president who believed in crypto to push it forward. And it worked out good for El Salvador. Exactly your reaction. <laughs> 100% staked. Yes, we are. Dizzy Jones. 777. Great day, friends. You're welcome, Sarah. I definitely need to do it. And I have to say that beef low, what's going on? As far as my supplementation, I was getting lazy there for a little bit. I wasn't taking everything, you know, because it's just so many, <laughs> so many things that I take. And I, I, I would say I went about two weeks without having to take everything I was supposed to take. And uh, the, yesterday when I was at the airport picking up Chico, I'm looking down the hallway and things are fuzzy, like blurry again. I'm like, oh, man, I could totally tell that I'm not taking all my supplements. And it didn't take long for my eyes to start uh, reverting back to the, the failed state that they were in where I needed to wear my glasses. But... Ramped it back up in uh, at yesterday night, last night, and uh, took everything today. So hopefully it'll start clearing up again. Hi, Randy. Question. Let's say you had a grand sacked for PLS or PLSX. How many Xs would you take profit? Charles, we have something called liquid loans and now Power City. So you won't have to take profit anymore. What you'll be able to do is take loans out on your crypto and... Hopefully, as the prices go up during the bull market, you'll be able to pay back those loans with higher and higher value Pulse and Pulse X. That is the goal. Um, hopefully, we could get some more clarity when it comes to taxation uh, for, for everyone that's worried about uh, taxable events. And I'm hoping that you know when you take out a loan on your crypto, it's no different than taking a loan on a credit card. <clears throat> we'll see what the taxation is going to be on that. So I'm thinking this is going to save a lot of folks from never having to sell their, their crypto bags. Now, as far, in regards to taxation, if you get liquidated, right, instead of the price continuing to go up, it starts going down, it goes against you, and you let yourself get liquidated, I think that's going to be a taxable event because it's just like you sold your coins. So uh, this might be a, only a... A bull market scenario you know you're going into a bull market so that's the time you take your loans pay off during the bull market and um, just keep playing that game <clears throat> if you're doing the the strategy where you're taking your loans out and buying more pulse and more pulse x and things that could be pretty cool ben heck says we could be in the bull market i think so i still don't believe it but the, all the indicators say we are, so I can't argue with indicators. <laughs> are you going to do a PLS validator? Brightlight, I would love to. Absolutely love to. So Alex is building a device that you hook into your, your internet, 
um, before the router and it'll run and it'll have like, um, it'll be able to set it up on your computer and run it from there. So I think anybody should be anybody who's in pulse. If you can afford it, if you can have 32 million, it's going to take 32 million pulse chain. You'll be able to stake them and, and earn rewards forever. And that's so cool. So, Like a whole crew of motorcycles again. The gang's out tonight. <laughs> Hi, I'm from Japan. Question. Let's say you had a grand sack for PLS products. How many? Okay. Yeah, Charles. That's why. Borrow. Randy, really enjoy your stream, brother. Can't wait till Pulse Chain comes out. Uh, K Crypto, you know, <laughs> we've been patient. All of us have been so patient. I, I'm, I'm so excited for it. You guys are, you guys are having a bro fest over here. Psychosis supply shock incoming. Can you explain this a little bit better? Yeah. I have spiders or something climbing on me. Um, so when the auctions happen, when um, sloth, man, come on. <laughs> when, the, when the HSI auctions happen, there is Hedron burned, I believe, and somehow we get payouts of Icosa. I don't know how the system works. I have no idea. All I know is that during these large amount, these large auctions that are going to be happening in January, or not January, um, February, there's going to be huge payouts by COSA again, just like it was back when we did it back in October or November or whatever it was. Uh, it was great. I mean, we were getting massive amounts of, uh, of divs for our, our ICOSA. Uh, but what happened is because we were getting so many, and this time it's not going to be as big as the first one, all right? There's not as many HSIs being auctioned off. So that means that we're going to have less, we're going to be earning less psychosis. So the, the damage won't be as bad, the amount of inflation. So I think it's going to still be hefty. And we'll see probably a price dip in Icosa. I just hope it's not too bad. That's my thing. But as soon as Hex starts pumping, so will Icosa. <laughs> oh, definitely vitamin A. Um, I, I just totally ignored vitamin A for a while. So make sure you check that one out. That's the most important. But I will I will put down the whole list of everything I take because who knows? I'm taking all the minerals too. I'm taking um, three different kinds of magnesium, uh, potassium, uh, <laughs> zinc, zinc picolinate. That's the one I take because zinc tends, if you get the cheapy zinc, it'll mess your stomach up. It gives me uh, nausea. So I take zinc, but colonate doesn't mess with me at all. And uh, just you got to make sure you get your minerals. If people just supplemented their minerals, they probably fix most issues that they're having. I think the vitamins, yeah, they're important, but the minerals that, and today, our, today, our diets, everything is low in minerals. The soil is so depleted that we're not getting enough. You know, you look at a green pepper from today compared to, you know, 50 years ago, it's probably a huge difference in the amount of minerals because the ground is so depleted. That's another reason to grow your own, right? So, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't, we're not lacking in, in as many vitamins, but we're definitely lacking, lacking in minerals. Um, and make sure you have vitamin D. But if you take vitamin D, you also have to take vitamin K2. Don't just take vitamin D by itself. Yeah, vitamin A. Have cut out carbs, coffee, and alcohol at New Year's. I'm down 25 pounds. What? Dude, I got to give up the carbs. I think that's the thing that gets me. Even though I, I, I uh, fast and everything, I think it's the carbs that get me. Because Panama's Carb City, man. They love frying up their carbs. There's Chico. Yay! Our first, our first successful person setting up their accounts here in Panama. Yay! <laughs> uh, G Maxim Broadcast just did a video on this a few hours ago. Oh, uh, the Icosa. Check it out, man! What's up with my internet tonight? Back down to one. What the heck? Using crypto loans to legally. <clears throat> You're not getting me to say it. Fomosexual, fomosexual. 
<laughs> Hi, Randy. Hey, what's up? Search that video. Oh, okay. Is that actual video name? I'm not looking it up, but cool. You know, there's some things you don't do a search term for. <laughs> Motorcycles, sorry guys. Uh, thoughts on the Satoshi Roundtable and whether Richard should uh, should have attended or been involved in the event due to the high level private discussions with leading devs, CEOs, founders, scientists, investors. Investors, but my friend Ira used to go every year, and he said it was fun because he just socialized, right? Just rub shoulders with everybody. Um, but as far as, you know, I'm not not too much into it. They, they have their own thing, man. I used to be big in all the the crypto boys, you know, friends of everybody, and I don't see any reason that Richard should go. I would say Richard should be attending more of the Ethereum side now. You know, go to um, consensus and stuff like that. Sound like, like a F one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it sounds like, but it's it's just uh, rock pocket rockets. What floor are you on, Randy? Oh, um, we're over twenty. Sorry, I'm late. Did your oh, you found Hooters. We had to stop in for one dollar beer. I had to show them American cuisine. <laughs> Naked wings at Hooters, hot. By far our favorite treat. And Annabelle, even though I don't like them a ton, but Annabelle loves fried pickles. <laughs> Anything fried, my wife loves. 30 new mil 32 million pulse. That's a top 10,000 wallet. Is it? Poor man's investing. Really? So that, but that was only 3,000. So that'd be $3,200 sacked to get 32 million pulse. Banned for a week on Twitter because I attacked the pedophile. <laughs> Good for you, man. What do you think of interest money wallet? Interest Internet money wallet? Um, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it. Look, guys. I am a paid team member for Aurox. You guys all know this. I've been saying it for years. I've been with them since 2017. Any other wallets? I'm not looking at it. I might look at Richard's wallet because, yeah, it's going to be a Richard built or Richard's going to build a wallet particularly for Pulse Chain. And that's going to be amazing. So, will I sacrifice for it? Nah, I don't know. Maybe not. But I'll definitely look at it and play with it. But the internet, magic internet money or whatever, that, that one, um, I'm not too interested in it. I got so much stuff to learn with just the Oryx wallet still. Randy, what's the best steps to buying original Pulse Doge? Got USDC convert to... Oh, you don't need to, Movie Club 4K. You don't need to do that. You just buy PLD, it's called now. You can buy it on Ethereum. It's called PLD. You don't need to go to PancakeSwap. Don't even bother. Just buy it on Ethereum. What is the minimum recommended time frame for Hedron staking? I think it's... Is it just like Icosa? I think it's 30 days. If validator is 32 million, I'm going to have FOMO so I can LOL. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it's no different than being, so it's 32 Ethereum to be able to stake. Pulse chain is 32 million. It's a million, 1 million pulse equal 1 Ethereum. So I don't know. What does that put the price of pulse? What, what does that put the price of pulse chain? You guys know one million into uh, sixteen hundred bucks, sixteen sixty. Someone do the math. I don't feel like playing with a calculator. <clears throat> when Hedron is burned in the HSI auctions, Icosa is distributed to the Hedron and Icosa stakers based on amount burned and T-share rate on that day. Ah, His Excellency, thank you. Yes, Defiant Defy. I have, uh, I take, it's probably not the best version of, of CMOS, but I take the gummies, the CMOS gummies. There's some, they're from the UK, the ones I buy. They also have elderberry in them. Randy, cheers from sunny Miami. Umberto, when do you leave 
to go to Costa Rica? Hey, Randy, it's been a few. It looks like your dome has shrank. <laughs> my head? <laughs> right, because my hair is like military style, man. I got it really small. I got it really short. Algae? If you're in the north, algae is probably super easy to get and cheap. You nailed it with minerals, expressly trace minerals, which are only bioavailable in liquid form, are critical for long-term health. Yeah, everyone's everyone's short on minerals. There's the one I want to want to bring up that I think is so important. That's the vitamin D3 and K2 relationship. So D3 by itself, it is a fat soluble vitamin, so you can like overdo it, right? But everyone's short on D3. It, sometimes it could take months of taking D3 to get your levels back to where they're supposed to be. But if you take K2, it helps metabolize everything better. But the K2, what it does is it goes in, it takes all this excess calcium that's in your bloodstream and deposits it into your bones and in your teeth and the places where it's supposed to go. So vitamin K2, they're finding out that it's a super, super important vitamin. And you just buy D3 with K2. And it, it works great. And uh, I had, uh, you know, that scan where you go in and they take a picture of your blood vessels and your heart and stuff to see if there's any um, atherosclerosis, which is the hardening of the arteries. Why do arteries get hard? It's due to inflation. Or <laughs> inflation, talk money, right? Um, inflammation. And that inflammation gets covered by calcium because we, we eat way too much calcium and we don't get it taken out with a vitamin K2. So if you supplement with vitamin K2, it tends to lower that. So when I had my test done, uh, it was about eight months ago, I had my uh, cardiologist order it for me. He's like, why do you want to get that done? It's like, because I want to see what my level is. And it came back as a zero. Zero doesn't mean that I'm perfect. It just means that I don't have any calcification or atherosclerosis that's visible to the test. So um, atherosclerosis is, that's what causes heart attacks and you know, your blood vessels not not able to expand anymore. You know, when you're when your blood vessels constrict, they go like this, and they they release. But if you have atherosclerosis, they just get narrower and narrower, and that leads to aneurysms or heart attacks and things like that. So he, there was no damage whatsoever, and I, I I attribute that to me taking vitamin D three and K two now for over a year and a half, and um, probably because I was an athlete and I was in the Navy all the way up until I was in my 30s. So I think that's saved my butt. I mean, I was an athlete up until my 30s. Got out of the Navy when I was, I think I was 20, 26, something like that. And Blackaroni. Well, I buy mine on um, Amazon. But I, I'll, I'll show you guys the brand I take. I, I don't have bottle right now. I can't remember the name, but it, it's good stuff. Juicing also helps. Even with depleted veggies or fruits, the amount of concentrated minerals you can get versus eating is great. Cool, don't you? I got to be careful. I'm trying to keep low on the sugars, though. What's your latest thinking on swapping out ERCs on Pulse Launch after experience the EPOW, ETHF? Well, they were, in a, they were a system state copy, but it wasn't an advertised system state copy, and they didn't have any liquidity on their coins. Liquidity on the other coins had to be added by the other parties, right? So Pulse Chain is going to be very different because every coin is going to have some liquidity. I've been saying it for a while now. The, the play that I think is going to be great for you guys is to buy other coins. Find other coins. They have communities. And you're going to go in, and you're just going to, on the first day, you'll get a copy of them, and you'll be able to sell for Pulse Chain. Because you're going to be a mad rush to the exits for Pulse X and Pulse P Hex in order to buy Pulse Chain on day one and two. Not a mass run, for, mass run for the exit, but that's where the the majority of the money. It's going to be a tsunami of money going into Pulse Chain. So find a pair that's not as popular and do it from that one. Randy, what centralized exchange do you recommend to send from MetaMask and then to the bank? What's central? What centralized exchange do you recommend to send from MetaMask to the bank? I, I would just, there's only one centralized exchange I think anybody trusts anymore, and that's that's um, Kraken. So make sure you, everyone should have a Kraken account if they're looking to do large amounts. Because Kraken, what, you, what happens is 
you sell your coins and you could turn it into USD, not USD C, but USD. And then you have like a crack in bank account or something. I, I don't have one. My wife does, but my friends use it and they just transfer from Kraken to um, their local bank accounts. Uh, says, I use many varieties of sea salts with trace minerals. I hope they are helping. Make your own. My mom makes her own stuff. She makes her own colloidal silver. <laughs> it's just all kinds of cool stuff. Has anyone noticed that Richard has been giving updates on Wednesdays? No, haven't. Today's Monday, so two more days. That'd be cool. Uh, she likes anything fried. That's why she loves the gringo rojo in the tropics. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, every <laughs> look at my face. You guys could totally tell I was in the sun today. I mean, I, I went out my my uh, my nice long walk. <laughs> Rather these updates than his clothing and bag updates. Yeah, I think he realized everyone's over it. I have a wallet. Ah, I keep forgetting about this Grid Plus Lattice One. <laughs> Yeah, I'll check it, Sandra. I, I mean, I wrote it down, but I wasn't home at all today, so I haven't been uh, on the computer. I promise I'll, I'll look into it. Randy, how often do you do you do those private streams on Patreon going to sign up and join your squad? Warhammer, we do it every week. So we have uh, Thursdays. Um, this week is noon Eastern, and next week will be... I think it was 8 p.m. Yeah, it was 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to do it every Thursday. I'm not too interested in sacking for a wallet. LOL. Yeah, me either. Hex God Turtle. What's up, Randy? Caught you live. Thanks for the streams. That's cool. Hex God Turtle. Your name, man. I used to live in St. Croix, USVI, US Virgin Islands, and CMOS was readily available in drink form. It's urban legend was it was good for wood <laughs> but i was in my 20s nevertheless i drank it <laughs> that's funny okay there you go 0. 0.0016 so that's a 16x so if ethereum is 1660 right now so that'd be 0. 0.00166 you're looking at a 16x out the gate for hex or for uh, pulse chain if if the ethereum price is the same as it is right now it's not guaranteed but it's a loose number that we can associate with a possible price. So that doesn't include the pumpage, right? That could be just, if it's 1 million to one, maybe that's a roundabout price what Pulse Chain should be, okay? So now let's, in, let's bring in the FOMO, and what's the FOMO gonna do? Probably pump it to 0. 0.005 or something? 20X, 30X, 40X? Brenton, Rand Diggity. Any thoughts on PP? I haven't heard about it lately. Yeah, he kind of went quiet with it, but he's waiting for the pulse chain to launch. That's all I know. I've got my uh, my free my free sack. RH wallet with will one thousand X. Just because maybe just maybe you know, but that's one that I'll probably wait until it came out and I will buy it once it's public on the market. Sixteen hundred dollars, one million is point zero zero one six. Thanks. Um, yeah, hell, I I probably throw a grand at it or something, but I'm not going to put a lot. Hell, I only put twenty three hundred into Pulse Chain. Come on now. <laughs> I like K two. K... <laughs> you 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 you. <laughs> you almost got me to say it, man. I use this one is amazing. Vitamin D three five thousand. I use one hundred twenty five mil micrograms. Infused with coconut oil, non-GMO and gluten-free, 30 soft gels. 30 soft gels. Nice. D plus K, yeah. So that 125 micro, milligram, micrograms of uh, vitamin K2. And 5,000, I use a D3. Okay, I get it. Kraken is a solid exchange. They're the only one that I think has never really messed up. Sitting USD and cracking is sweet. Cool. Eat organic veggies for minerals too. Yeah, of course. <coughs> got to grow our own. Like my mom. My mom's got an amazing garden. Trust token turns your TUSD into an escrow payment to your bank. Really? Uh, 
Hello, Ben. Look into CDS chloride, chlorine dioxide solution with Andres Kalker. All inclusive elixir with different protocols that cares about anything. Yeah, I heard about that one too. One more thing I gotta look up. <laughs> I, I saw that on someone's video. It might have been Dr. Berg or one of those guys. Dioxide. I'm always interested in checking stuff out. I was talking to uh, my friend Greg today at the park when we were doing our walk, and he was, saying, he was mentioning um, taking the, uh, the ozone, too, and he said how, how amazing the ozone was. And then yesterday I was talking to my friend Richard, and he was saying how amazing ozone was. And these are older guys, and they, they both swear by it. Randy, did you know that Kraken is doing a Series A funding round? No, did not know that. Very cool. Maybe they're gonna they'll be able to be the the darling of Wall Street when it comes to crypto, rather than that stupid what's it called uh, Coinbase. I do not like Coinbase. Hey Trenton, good to see you, sir. <laughs> Here, Andy, you heard of King and Water? Yeah, sure have. I threw one k at PPSAC, but after getting my ass handed on me on Dodeca. F you to the founder if you're watching. <laughs> I took profit on PP to restore the balance of my wallet. Don't hate the player. Yeah. A lot of people got wrecked in Dodeca. What do you expect the ratio for PLS, PLSX to be once everything settles and potentially finds a floor? Finds a floor? I, yeah. I still think that Pulse X will outperform Pulse Chain in the next bull run. Pulse Chain is going to be amazing. It's going to just blow everyone's stocks off, right? But if you look if you look at what the token economics, what PulseX has, I think it's going to be one of the top coins or top tokens in the market next bull run. I'm talking about the total market. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. Let's look at the charts. All right. Bitcoin. All right, we had the crossover here with the moving averages. We got the green Orox indicator. We got a positive demand index. We have greed in the market and the BGMC. Well, look, this one doesn't really count because that's for short time frames. But everything is positive still. Um, we're sitting at twenty two eight eighty three. We're only about a thousand dollars off the highs. Twenty four twenty four two twenty four three is about what we maxed out at. So a little over $1,000 off the highs. Oops. <clears throat> and just kind of floating up there, guys. It's just floating. And can we get the elevator down so we can reset this thing? I mean, this, this full moon hasn't been as uh, negative on the market as it normally is. It's still been negative. It's come down a tiny bit, but yeah, you know, uh, fourteen hundred bucks is not a lot when it comes to to Bitcoin. So you're only talking about a couple percentage points. That's not. I wouldn't consider that too much of a pullback. Uh, ETH USD. Look at this. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve weeks. So three months of green. The man index finally made it over um, on January 2nd. So we're halfway in, we're six weeks into that. The greed looks good. Oh, there we go. We got we still have the sell. So that painted on the daily for ETH. And we're three days into that. Demand index looks good, and so does the fear and greed, because we're in greed. Now, Hex, oh boy, look at Hex go. All right, this is what I want to talk about as far as the charts are concerned. So we're four months into a green Orox indicator. First of November, we went green. All this was the FTX period, all that crap about FTX, and this was Christmas. So we had our tax sales plus FTX FOMO or FTX FUD all during this time. All right, now we're turning around. And, and what have we learned about, about Hex? 
so let's go back to December 20, um, November and December. So let's go back to use October. We, we just went, got slaughtered right here, back here too. We went from a high of 44 cents down to a low of 15 at the time. And let's go back another December. Well, this one wasn't as bad. Um, we went 0 0.0024. And one, okay, so that one doesn't really count. I don't know what happened. Oh, that, I think that was big payday. I think that was big payday, right? Yeah. No? I don't know. It's too far back. Whatever. But this is what I'm saying. Last, last fall, we started having the big chunks of people who are selling, big chunks of hex being sold in the market uh, because their fir the first two-year stakes were coming out. Well, here's the first three-year three -year stakes. And a lot of people uh, were laddering around Christmas time and not, not looking at uh, the um, hex.vision and seeing where there was good places to put stakes. I think people have learned their lesson. So um, next year, you're going to see the same thing. November, December, probably. And then we get the recovery. So uh, that looks good. Let's see in the daily. <clears throat> Looking beautiful in the daily. There's nothing ugly here. Everything is good. Hex looks great. Where The question is, where do we stop? Hedron. Uh, Hex is up 7.3% today, too. That's pretty cool. Hedron's up 8.72%. Look at this green candle on the weekly. Uh, so we've made it as high as five zeros two six nine. So five zeros two seven. Remember the all-time high was up here. I sold that one. Oof, that was nice. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the daily. So we kind of have a buy the rumor sale the news event right now going into the auctions. People are loading up on Hedron in order to participate in the auctions that are happening. And this um, will continue until about a week before the auction. I don't know the exact dates. I think it was uh, the 18th or 19th. So maybe a few more days of green. Um, let's, I think that's enough coin. We don't need to go into the other coins. But that's, that's just where I'm seeing us heading. Oops. Where to go? <clears throat> Oh, you guys are throwing up a lot of stuff here. There we go. What do you expect? Okay, just saw that one. What do you do with your US Urus token staking or liquidity mining? Uh, Clint Trump's, I, I've got mine staking, but uh, I don't think you even have to do that. I think you just have to have them in your wallet to get all the benefits of the trading platform. Good old Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> Where Bitcoin goes, we all go. I'm in UK. Ding. Whoa. You're up early. <laughs> I used Coinbase before. And when the red candles hit, I couldn't buy sometimes. Just use Kraken now. Yeah. That was Coinbase has been, always been played. Oh, good. These guys are tired. Um, just don't use Coinbase if you don't have to. Another excellent day. Dave down under. Nice hot day. I heard it's 42 degrees in in, uh, in some parts of, how you want to say it, let's say Oz. <laughs> God, I hope you're doing, you're right, Randy. I sacked so much for PLSX and PLS. Now with Power City's loaned app, I'm super hopeful. Yep. So I learned for you guys, if like for Dave's name, guys, we got to call him Davo. All right? Davo, because that's how Aussies, we talk to each other when they're when they're buds. So, thank you, Davo. Poor man's investing. Full moon worked for my lumber stocks. Many mills are still shut down. Really, something going down. It's just weird. RH has given test nest announcements the last four Wednesdays in a row. Big news in two days. Ooh, ooh. And you think people are trading that? Smart ones, I guess. Sandy Beach. Hello. <laughs> you guys with your following. One of the best coins to hold during snapshot is Chainlink. 
But but why is everyone saying Chainlink? It, has Chainlink announced that they're going to support on Pulse Chain? I don't I don't understand. I, I heard yeah. Last I heard, Chainlink isn't cooperating with Pulse Chain. I could be wrong. See, that's what I'm saying. Unless somebody has some news that I don't know. And the U, U.S. Trust Token is the best for on and off ramping, no fees, and it's just an escrow account. Okay, Corey, I gotta learn about this now. Or so we could train and teach the folks in the U.S. Can you talk about what benefits we get from PLS OA having so much DAI, USDC, TRCs, having been through the hex birth, marketing, making, and price, defending, et cetera? Thanks, Randy. Well, I believe that there's somebody within Richard's team or a script or something that's a market maker. Not a not a huge market maker, but it does really good. I mean, look at the bear market. We stayed between two and a half cents and three and a half cents for a long, long time. And that's very hard to do without a market maker. I mean, it was a couple months. So there would be someone come in, they'd sell a bunch, right? And the price would slowly come back, boom, and then start finding its. It was like it was like a it was like a bobber in the water. You pull the bobber down, it comes shoots right back up. Um, I think you need a market maker to do that. So I think the OA is going going to continue to do that with um, PulseX, PulseChain, PHEX, hopefully um, EHEX. Uh, Richard Hess says he wants to see HEX do well on all the chains. When he meant all the chains, meant Ethereum and Pulse Chain. I don't think he cares about ETH POW and Ethereum Fair. You can only stretch yourself so far, right? Um, no expectations. What's he going to do with the DAI, USDC, TRC 20s? I got no idea. No idea. Let's hope that that's used to uh, move the price around. <laughs> Is PC doing another sacrifice for liquidity fork? Just curious. There's Power City's doing it right now. They are doing a sacrifice all the way till Pulse Chain launches. The story of O. What's the story of O? RH Max. What's up, sir? It's 18 degrees in my part of Oz. That's what my AC says. Oh. <laughs> Smart ass. I had to turn mine off. Mine's I got an AC guy coming tomorrow. Take a look at this one. It's going, it's doing the vroom, vroom. It's like, like, what's, what are you, a motorcycle? And what, what will be your top two coins you're looking at other than Hex? Avax, PLSX, PLS. Well, let's talk about coins that are already exist. Coins that already exist. Um, definitely Avax for layer one. What else? Hmm. I'm just not as excited as I used to be about other coins. Um, there's some things I want to keep to the Patreon, guys. I don't want to spill everything. So, But every, everybody already knows I love Avalanche. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to go too much into that. I'm going to stay. This is what I, my plan is. My plan is to stay in the Pulse Chain ecosystem with about 95% of my my funds. I don't want to go outside of that, guys. I, I don't. I want to stick within the ecosystem. Like light. Axelrod, Link is probably a lost cause, but Mana, Decentraland, might just need Pulse Chain to function until ETH gets their scalability EIPs in the next few years. It's a nice play, RH. I like that one. It's our, uh, I like it. Hex on Pulse Chain Thoughts. That is Hex. I'm going to be blunt with this one. Ehex. Ehex is kind of going to be an afterthought. Do I think it's going to still be around and people still do well with it? We'll still be able to mint our stakes and do all that kind of stuff? Yes, it's still going to be there. Will it have the value of Phex? Doubtful. But unless somebody comes out with a good liquidity pair where it can be, you know, quite stable, but I don't know. That's going to be a someone's going to have to rack their brain to 
to come up with that because I don't see how it can be done. Are you <laughs> guys? Dave down under Dave O'Mate. <laughs> PC sacrifices only one to one now until launch. Yep. And you get a couple extra bonuses. Like if you sacrifice for Watt token, their original token, you actually get a bonus. And if you sacrifice for Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Liquid Loans, and maybe a couple other things. <clears throat> Power City sack is not necessarily for liqu liquidity fork, it's just a continuous sack. Yep. Until Pulse launch, that includes everything via the Watt. The whale stakes coming out. What scenario could play out? The whale stakes are always coming out. That that's the thing. They've been coming out since I've been in Hex, and I remember we would get so anxious about some giant stake coming out back in 2020, and then we get so jaded with it because every time we get nervous about it, it would just be restaked. It'd be rolled over again, rolled over again, and this kept happening. So I, I think we just lost interest. I, I have no interest in following stakes. The only thing that I might do is I might uh, win entry points. So right now, I think there's, that, like I said, that big stakes coming out. That's going to cause the T-share rate to jump. So if you're looking to get some nice T-shares, uh, say you want to get 20 T-shares or something, well, you might want to hurry up because you're going to have a nice discount buying it now versus waiting until this big stake comes out that everyone's talking about. But I wouldn't worry about it too much, not unless you're trying to get in. Just use Hex.Vision to make your plans to buy or uh, Hexfire.io. <laughs> RH bank. PC is sacrificer for the Watt token, but what about the new tokens? Good question. I am not, I I am not, I don't have any plans to sacrifice for any more for Power City. I already did. Pulse all the way. Yep. I'm super excited for Pulse Chain. It's going to be, just blow us away. TUSD Trust Token is legit. Been my on and off ramp for a couple of years. Surprise, more investors don't use it. Wow, guys. We got to do some education then. Dark FI, which is in testnet. Is that on the Ethereum blockchain? That's most spider. Aloha. Randy, can you briefly explain how to bridge over USDC to Pulse Chain when it goes goes main? Yeah, sure. So you're gonna have a there'll be a website you go to that'll have the bridge. And you send your coins to the address and it comes out the other end on Pulse Chain as a wrapped US it'll be P USD, right? or P Ethereum, that type of thing. Um, that's just all bridges are. It's really simple to use. Uh, I used it for Arbitrum. I've used it for Polygon, you know, stuff like that back in the past. I haven't done it in a long time, but I used to do it a lot back when I was more uh, more into the DGen stuff. Yeah, nothing separate from the new token. They're talking about Power City. Safest place in crypto. crypto. It's those pieces. of... Peace of mind. Yeah. I love the Pulse Chain ecosystem is going to be great. But once we launch, you're going to have a lot of shit coins. Be careful of the meme coins and stuff when it launches because there's going to be a lot of them. Thanks, G-Banger. <laughs> yes. Mr. Rock Jockey, you're welcome. Nothing new for PC Sacrifice. The only whale stakes I get worried about are Hex 19's stakes. Yeah. That's so sad. Man. Just I heard his mention multiple times today, so it's really sad. Richard is quiet again, Daniel. That's a good thing. Yeah, all right, Max. <laughs> yeah, I got the light night showing, man. I'm like, I'm like the um what's his name? Ah, oh, geez, I can't even think. I can't even think of the late night show people. I've been out of the U.S. for so long. I use ozone to kill all dental infections and soft as well as hard tissue. Very cool. Yeah, be careful with this ozone because it is very caustic. But yeah. Hi, Sandy. Bungie Jim and Jesse just said TUSD is lit legit. Okay. You guys got me all FOMO into this now. 
No, DarkFi is a whole new blockchain. I've been following it for a long time. Does it has anything to do with um, Cult, CultDAO? Because they're they're doing a privacy focused blockchain. Yes, please, guys. Heck yeah, the gang's all here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by a website? You go for a bridge. Well, there's going to be multiple bridges. It's not just one. So you, you go to the website and you just you uh, you just click on the coins that you want to bridge over, and you have to send them to an address that they supply, and um, that is the problem. Red Bull Green Bear. That is the problem with bridges. Bridges are the most vulnerable vulnerable part of any blockchain because they're usually run by third parties and um, they have to be bulletproof. We've seen lots of people lose lots of money in bridges. So hopefully we don't have that issue. So many reflection tokens, I'd avoid them like the plague, yes. Hey, Randy, I finally got a live. I'll be signing up for your Patreon soon. I was impressed with your presentation at the Hex Conference. Thanks for all your wisdom. Hey, you're welcome. Wanted to clarify, Kraken USD is a good way to exit crypto before you send money to your bank. Really smooth, not crypto and not fiat either. Yeah, that's what my buddies use. And they send it right here to Ben Ismo, which is owned by Bank Columbia, which used to be, uh, Ben Ismo used to be HSBC. So they're one of the largest banks in Panama. And they work flawlessly with Kraken. I think they are also scared of dark fi also had dark dow etc as you know eth coming out with a private but it's a bit not so private yeah it's and it's like uh optional too oh amir's back oh interesting so amir taki he was one of the original bitcoin guys uh, very more uh, towards more anarchist than me probably and i'm pretty anarchist <laughs> <You see? laughs> The future will be written in acronyms. Jeez, it feels like it, right? All right, folks. Well, I've had a very long day, and I had a very late night last night. So I am heading out, and I'll be back tomorrow night. Um, look forward to seeing all you guys tomorrow. Cheers from Panama.